Abola Metinumbu, the All Progressive Congress presidential candidates, says Abia electorate owe him votes Why dismissing Labour Party's Peter B as his tenant in Lagos. The APC flag bearer said, as Mr. Obi's landlord, he is waiting for the presidential poll to trump his opponent. An overlord in Lagos, Mr. Tinubu continues to exert immense influence on the levers of power in the state. He said, you see Lagos, how he be. Go there now. You will not even want to come back. The man which won't run we won't run in Labour Party Peter B. He you know fee stay in Anambra boosted Mr. Tinumbu, the former Lagos governor. He moved to Lagos and I am his landlord. I know the warrior. I just the wait for the day I beat him for election. He urged APC supporters and members in Abia to ensure the party's victory in the February twenty fifth and March eleven elections. For president, you vote for me on March 11, they will bring governorship. But before then, on the day you are voting for president, you must vote for senator, right? APC, you will vote for us. After that, go home, Mr. Sinubu to the cheering crowd. The APC presidential stand standard bearer added, you owe me, you owe me, you owe Nigeria three fingerprints. One, president. Putan, second one, Senator Putan, symbol, boom, 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 boom. The former Lagos governor made this statement at Tuesday's APC rally in Abia State. Mr. Tinubu 70 is contesting the presidential race again against frontline candidates, including Peter B of the Labour Party, Atiku, and also Kwakwansu of the New Nigeria People's Party. The former Lagos governor and APC national leader believes it is his turn to be nigeria president despite being assailed by corruption and drug trafficking allegations his frail physical and mental conditions have also raised questions about his capacity to preside over nigeria africa's most populous country this tinubu eh, he not just get he not just get good mass he just they talk yanga 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 no, it's not a presidential candidate. It's just going about spewing nonsense. Is this how to campaign? Then you are from Iraq, Baji, in Osho State, and a fortunate stranger and sojourner in Lagos State. From the same state, we say Arek Beshola, also a commissioner of works in Lagos State during your tenure as the governor. The best candidate from the Southwest would have been Oshibajo. But this loud mouthed and egocentric old patriarch twatted that opportunity because of his selfish and self entitlement mentality of a miloko. Okay, we will vote for Peter B. Deal with it. Tinubu is not even from Lagos State, he is from Osho. You are also a tenant in Lagos. So you have arrogated the leadership or the landship and ownership of Lagos to your personal self. Abi, we will humiliate you with. Our vote next month by God's grace. A man full of himself, you will never make it to us, or God forbid. On presidential speech, let Nigerians know how to solve problems, okay? Both of you are tenants in Lagos. Sinubu is from Osho State, while Obi is from Anambra State. Just as Sinubu is not say from Lagos, indigenous of Lagos State is also a tenant in Lagos, just like Obi, they are both tenants, okay? <laughs> Even though Tinubu owns Lagos as landlord, he is saying that Igbos are not paying rents. Is he saying that Igbos are not paying rents and to replicate the kind gesture, then should vote they should vote for him. Pisaobi has houses or house in Lagos. Can Tinubu tell us one thing he did in the East or how many times he has visited East since he was born as one Nigeria? Tinubu is full of himself, pride and arrogance. Will destroy you, Mr. Tinubu. I love Igbo people so much, but what Tinubu said is a fact. Which fact? Hey, hey. Which fact? But it's not a fact that himself is not from Lagos State. Jagaban is Lagos landlord. Everyone living in Lagos is his tenants. Can you imagine? 
Igbos have been staying in Lagos State before he was born in Osho State. How is it a fact? Then he should serve them quiz notice if he can. Look, Nigeria is for a change and nobody can deny that. You talk as if there are no Yorubas in the East. The only difference is that they do not buy land or build like the Igbos here. So, Oga, be coming down. You are mistaking insanity for facts. Saying that uh, what Tinubu has said is the fact. You only have one vote. Vote one, anyone you like. Democracy is what we are practicing. So, people are free to choose whoever they want. Stop all this by force by force show of campaign. Tinubu is not the owner of Lagos. He's just an opportunist. That is it. It's just an opportunist. And I see the way he's just bragging up and down. When people say that he has he has cornered every almost everything in Lagos, they will say it is not true. But he's using his mouth to confirm that. Well, so they are not hype up again because he wants their votes. Tinubu's arrogance will not take him anywhere. He knows Igbos won't vote for him. Then he insulted, he resulted in insults. We reject APC where we have not satisfied, where we have not tasted Buhari. Why do you think we will vote them now we have seen their wars? How is this a fact? The award for biggest food in Nigeria goes through. If you can't say, can't say the truth at this age, I feel sorry for you. Saying that it's no good, he's saying the truth. Where? You too, Tinubu, you are eternal in Lagos because you are from Oshun State. I'm starting to like Northerners. I no longer see them making a full speech towards Igbos. It is now mostly the Yorubas pouring aid towards the Igbos. This is to show you that your enemy is just right next door. Imagine someone who is from Iragbaji, Oshun State. I said it. He has put Lagos State in his pocket and he has dominion over them. Me, myself, and I, all about myself, not about Nigeria. Even the so-called Tinubu is not even from Lagos. He should also be called a tenant in Lagos. He likes to make such or uh, so much a senseless talk. And I know he won't even win this election by the grace of God. The entitlement mentality of Tinubu is what scares the hell out of me, honestly. Honestly. So guys, let's say your opinion on how to take on this.